Ladies and gentlemen, Kings Warriors Academy presents three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 170 pounds, representing GB Top Team, Gabriel Agusto! And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 170 pounds, representing Montagne Noir, Fred Casaban. Beach Warriors Academy Southeast, 170 pound bat on deck, rather. Gabriel Augusto in the black shorts with white trim, taking on Florent Casaban in the dark grey trunks. Too rangy looking welterweights here, Nick. I, yeah, I'm waiting to see some jabs. There's that teep to start it off with by Augusto. Augusto making his debut here tonight. Casaban already two and hours an amateur. Casaban in deep on that double, looking to lock his hands. Got him locked. Nice little dump. Already Augusto looking to get those legs working up high. Casabar going to have to be careful hanging out in the guard here. Four Tries to snap to that triangle over. Yep. Good awareness by Florent. He's able to posture up quick. Buck the shoulder, get both arms through. Looks like Augusto was maybe looking to try and fish out a Kimura grip there for some sort of sweep, but wasn't successful. He's now going to try the other side. Does find a way out that time, trips his man and comes out on top. That was a great little setup for a sweep. Kasparan with that single butterfly here, so let's see if he can get something to work, but posturing up is Gabriel Augusto. Landed a couple of nice shots there and Back down heavy on top again. And Gusto's tight on top. He's sitting on that half guard. But I like what Florence is doing. He keeps putting that leg inside, create that space to try to shimmy and sh get to where he wants to be here, which is the cage, to try to wall walk up. Wesley Meyer, Corey Tate, and of course Brad Pickett in the GB top team corner. Oh, nice. Florin in there. Kicks to the back on the way up and laughing and smiling. Augusto wants to have nothing to do with it. Yeah, you can save the handshakes for one the final bells rung. Gabriel Augusto just all business here as he walks his man down against the cage. Looking for a big finish to the round here, but Casaban and prevents him from doing so. I'm impressed with how deep Florent gets in on each of these shots. Like he's in where hands are locked on every shot. His finish rate has to be super high with being in that deep. Most guys, you just can't get in that deep towards doing it. And it's not that his arms are extraordinarily long for his height. He just does bring his hips in behind him. I could see Augusta just needing to sprawl a bit better and control that head when Florent does eventually shoot in. Comes out with a nice teep to the body. There's a lot of sting on these shots from Augusto. He gets cuffed with a left hand there, though. The trade body kicks now.
Casaban's going to have to be careful. He needs to keep that guard high when he's standing. He's going to find himself in a bad spot here. Florent shot in up for a far single. Was able to get in on the leg, but just gave up top position. Now he's back to his base. Looking to try to step over or reshoot. Hops round into side control as Gabriel Augusto. And he's looking to isolate that arm on the far side, perhaps. We saw him try for that Kimura sweep earlier in the first. I wonder if he's trying to set that. Yep. As soon as he stepped over, the, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's, he's going to set it up now. Difficult to see what kind of... He doesn't really have a grip on the arm yet. Now Florence doing a good job now of trying to keep his arms up and over. Although he's now given up mount during that little scramble, is able to get back to half guard, which is good. Gusto's not really making him pay for being on bottom right now. There's not a lot of strikes coming be to the body or the head. Yeah, he's definitely trying to isolate one of those arms, though. This, this is like the third or fourth time we've seen him get that grip, so perhaps that's something he likes to work on in the gym. Maybe it's a vulnerability he's seen looking at tape of Casaban from previous fights. Who knows? But it, it, again, trying to look at that Kimura grip. And Florent doing the right thing, locking up those hands, just looking to isolate it. Now he's trying to do the really smart thing, is sneak out that back door. Oh, and he does. Both hooks in. No, nope. he's got just the one side. in. Oh, and he's panning away here. A volley of punches from Florent Casaban. Tries to get that arm under the neck. He's trying to sneak it under. It's over the jaw here. I mean, you, you can get the tap. Trying to adjust that grip. He's got 10 seconds left to play with. Augusto continuing to roll, but Florence jumped that. And now Augusto jumping it. Incredible exchanges in that second round. The, the trading of rear naked chokes towards the end of that last 35 seconds or so. But I like what Florence was doing. Well, third and final round about to get underway here at the Cage Warriors Academy. Gabriel Augusto, Florent Casaban. It's been an entertaining affair thus far. I'm sure the final three minutes will live up to the previous six. They touch gloves and Casaban from the start with a high kick early. Again, got that big smile on his face. Well, Florence started this one with a head kick, whereas Augusto started the first two with face teeps. Seemed only fair at that point for him to be able to throw that head kick first. A nice duck under for that double. Augusto did sprawl well, turned off to the side. Nice combination there from the Frenchman. Not able to get the trip takedown there. And he's ended up with Gabriel Augusto in top position once again. Augusto's looked very heavy throughout this fight. It'd be interesting to see if Augusto tries to isolate that arm again. It was Casaban throwing up the legs there, but he, he's given up side control. And yeah, I, I think Augusto is maybe looking at that arm again as a possibility. Nice dip duck. Yeah, we've seen some incredible transitions from both guys in this contest so far. The clock is running down, though. Just 90 seconds left to play with for both these guys. And Florence starting to drop some shoulder blocks. Great sweep by Augusto right into Mount. And he baited him in because he pulled down on the opposite side right before he bridged and went over. 
And I think the referee just warning uh, Kasban there just to target the shots to the back of the head. Good strong base here from Augusto. Kasban though finding a way out once again, able to get that half guard. Time's running out from though. He needs to get some offense on the board in this round. Magus is just really heavy on top right now. He's making sure he's chest to chest, digging that shoulder into, I would say the throat area, but it's more upper chest. And it just helps with kind of slowing down the breathing and making it to where it's not able to be able to stand up or move your hips. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be frustrating, Florent Casaban there. He knows the clock's running down. He's trying his best to get out from underneath. Can't move. It's literally stuck between a rock and a hard place here. And a nice right hand. And Augusta looked like he, he did the stand up to have the last 10 seconds to be able to go. And... Ladies and gentlemen, the three rounds of action. We go to the judges' scorecards. We'll score the vote 30 27, 29 28, and 30 27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Gabriel. 